Hey, what's going on everybody? Brando free to play back on my free to play account. And in today's video, let's talk about this new event that's going on where you can get a really, really pretty looking castle skin. So that event is called the Gala Shop. All right. So pretty much this is a, sort of an event where um, I don't know if you guys remember earlier this year we were able to get this uh, SS Wyvern skin you know where it was um, available for about one week and you had to get a certain amount of coins or that event currency so that you can then purchase it well this is a similar event this is a uh, the Woodland White uh, Warden Castle Skin. Now, obviously, you do need to be at least Castle Level 9 to unlock the Castle Skin, but if you are under that, you can always buy it. But if you're under Castle Level 9, I mean, it doesn't take you that long to, you know, progress in the game. Anyway, the Woodland Warden is actually very, very pretty. It, it's, it's, it's a really nice Castle Skin. Of, of all the castle skins that have come out, I think this has got to be in my top three, right? I can't say it's my number one because um, it's probably not, but it's very, very nice. And, it's, and I really like it because it's something that I can possibly get for free. All right. And on top of that, it does give you um, some stats. So you can level this up with stars. It, it, at 5 stars it'll give you 10% infantry attack and 10% infantry, infantry max HP. So really really nice pretty looking castle skin and I think I know some people who have the castle skin at the moment. Let's see they were over here somewhere. Unless they move. Here they are. Got some uh, WDG folks. And just the look of the castle skin is like really, really nice. I like it. I really, really like the castle skin. It's really pretty. I'm not gonna lie. It is very, very pretty. Now, how do we actually get the castle skin permanently, right? Because you have two options. You have the limited time, which is only available for about 14 days. And then you have the permanent castle skin, which you can then upgrade with stars, right? So you need to get Gala Torches. So you need to complete events to earn Gala Torches to exchange items in the Gala Shop. All right. So you get these with your daily logins, right? You get a little chest and you get some every day. Solo event, Hell event, Monster Kills, and Kingdom Clash. Which brings us to, brings a little uh, note that we're going to have KVK coming up this weekend. So guys, get ready for that. All right. The time exactly hasn't ha hasn't been mentioned, but it is happening this weekend. All right. So some quick tips on how to maximize the amount of boxes we can get as a free to play player. So number one, solo events. Just max it out. Very easy to do. Really, really easy to do. I kind of went overboard because I did 12 pack fours and I just gemmed it. And uh, I got uh, 108,000 points when I only needed 31,000. So I went way overboard, okay? But for hell events, okay? Very, very easy to do. Just get to level two. Don't, unless you have the speed ups and the gems and resources to go all the way to level three, then, you know, by all means, go for it. That's your choice. Myself, I'm gonna stop at level two unless it's like a Watcher Hell event and I know that I can get to level three, then I will. If it's not something that I'm like, oh, I need to do it, I need to get to level three, then I'm just gonna go level two and then get whatever chests I can. Also, monster hunting. Yes, I monster hunted quite a bit today. Let's see. Um, I think I killed a couple monsters. This is, yes, this is starting today. So as you guys can see, didn't really do all that many hunts, right? And I wasn't able to get all 20 that I needed, right? 20 out of 20 from the daily monster hunt chests. 
One of the things that I noticed, and this is gonna be a little secret that I am gonna show you, that while you actually can hunt, you know, regularly, right? The chances of you getting something are pretty slim. So I got two there, I got two there, very lucky. Two drops in a row. And that's a third drop within the first five or so hits. And then it just kind of gets a bit of a dry spell, right? And then this is what I do when I run into a bit of a dry spell, okay? I do a level two max hit or close to max hit with one hero, okay? The reason I do that is because when you do a max hit with one hero, you don't necessarily kill the level two monster, but you do weaken it quite a bit, okay? And because you get so many more chests, you can get many, many more of the torch chests that you're looking to get. So in this hit, I got eight, and then that was when I was able to get my 20. Before I had that, I had already hit 12, and I just didn't want to hit a bunch of different monsters, so I wanted to try this out and see if it still worked. And by the looks of it, it still does. Okay, so that's how I got my monster hunting done. All right, pretty simple, pretty self-explanatory. And yes, I will eventually make a video for the monster hunt teams for the new monsters that have come out this year. I know I haven't done them. I will just, you know, hold up on, <laughs> you know, don't, it, it'll come out eventually, all right? But aside from the castle skin, what else is available? Okay, so we got the castle skin. Pretty cool. Oh, and by the way, I'm already at 99 out of 900 for the castle skin. So I'm one ninth of the way there, essentially, okay? So, we also got some emotes. Okay, all right, that's fine. They are 30 a piece, and we got some paid emotes, which I'm not interested in at all. We got the uh, Arctic Flipper Avatar. And these avatars can actually give you points. Now, this is something that is interesting, right? So the events, and they have their own special avatar point boost. You can get up to a max of 170, and but really it only gives you 2% attack for cav ranged and infantry if you max it all out. But I mean, if you're wanting to be the maxed out account, and not somebody average, then yeah, you're gonna have to spend the money, you know, go for it, whatever makes you happy, right? Now, back to what's in the shop, we got uh, some of the more readily available or, or you know, uh, basic items. We got emote stamps, okay, fine. We got archaic tones, really, really great. Now. If you are not somebody that is going to be pushing for the castle skin, get the arcade tomes. They will come in handy. Believe me, they will come in handy. And you can only get 30. So 30 times three, that's what, 90? I believe I could if I wanted to max this out, right? So if you want, this shouldn't take you more than a day or two to get the 30 arcade tomes. That will save you quite a bit in actual gems, you know, it's just something that you can do. There's also research speedups and three minute speedups. And of course, IgG being IgG will allow you to buy the torches with money. So you can get 30 for a dollar or you can get 90 for three dollars. So there's no discount in buying it in bulk you get the same amount if you buy 30 or 90. And IGG wasn't, they don't want to give anybody, you know, some freebies in this event. So aside from that, event is going to be pretty self-explanatory. There is nothing in the daily uh, challenge. Uh, so just got to go do some hell events and solo events. Pretty, pretty self-explanatory. And uh, I think that uh, free-to-play players 
should, if they have the resources, speed ups, gems saved up, they should be able to unlock this castle skin within about a week or maybe the day before the event ends, you should have the amount of torches needed to purchase the new castle skin, which again, in my opinion, one of the top three best looking castle skins, maybe the best one, I haven't really decided yet. But that is all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and until next time guys, see ya.